What is up, then, guys? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please make sure you like, share, subscribe. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers or something and win 30 pounds. All you've got to do is follow my Instagram handle in my description box. Then inbox me when you get fit and say I'm here for the giveaway. Now, enough of that. So, guys, we are looking at Virgil's rumored seven shoes. So, um, Virgil's done like 10 different shoes for Nike, and these shoes are always setting up pretty much as soon as they come out. And also, the resale value is always going up the roof for most shoes, should I say. There's been quite a few of them, the track running shoes that have not really sold quite well. So those that have been unlucky, getting them more so after shoes have went for them. Now Virgil's always imagined Nike is in his own different way. So he's always been able to put a bit of sauce, a bit of a spin to it. I mean, we know him for the Jordan 1s, the deconstructed silhouette, especially the Chicago's, which have gone up the roof in pricing. So as of recent, um, some, I think he shared his, um, his computer screen on seven pixelated shoes. So everyone's been guessing what sort of shoes might see a release this year as well. So um, we just want to look at that and just, you know, talk about it and just I'll review it and think and tell you what my what my thoughts are as a high piece as well. And you guys can chime in as well. Put your comments down below and we'll just see what we, yeah, we'll just see uh, what's nice. And I'll obviously do my uh, usual review and all that stuff. So shout out to Supreme Lake News for obviously providing all the latest information. On what's due to come out so yeah let's start with this uh much sought after jordan one so this is known as the canary yellow from this back from the back from the get-go this is a beautiful shoe what can i say i mean that colorway white yellow with a bit of uh i don't know it's like a very light more like a light and then a baby blue color in the midsection there is proper dope as well I'm going to get my hands on these shoes, definitely. Now, obviously, these are all to be confirmed. The dates and everything is all to be confirmed. I like how they've got the black black label, the black tag on it. That's quite a nice touch. It's quite different as well. Man, I'd love to get my hands on these. I'll try and get my hands on these if they come out, when they come out, for me and my boo thing. So that's going to be an absolute vibe. Real store price for these is obviously going to be up the roof. I'd say retail price, if you live in the UK, you're probably looking at maybe, say, 160 165 And then resale, depending on your sizing, will obviously depend. I'd probably say, like, all your base sizes can probably start from £600. Yes, I say it, £600. And all your big boys, your size 12, size 13s, will obviously be up the roof as well. I'm a size 11, so my size will probably resell for, like, £900. You know, almost to a thousand pounds or thereabouts. So this shoe is going to be the most sought after shoe, I think, myself personally, because you know everyone likes Jordan One, Jordan One highs. They're the best silhouette in the world. So we're going to scroll down to oh, these are the second. So these shoes in black and in vault um, colorway were like some of the most sought after shoes, and also the blue as well. Previously, they were sought after. Like, yeah, it was crazy. It was a frenzy. Now, these actually go for a high price as well. Not as high as the Jordan 1s, but it depends. Like, um, the color for myself is not really an ideal color um, that I'd wear all the time. I'd probably, like, wear this with all black at the top. So, black beanie, black hoodie, black joggers, and probably put something else like that on. And then also wear a nice off-white um, scarf, provided my girlfriend can borrow me a scarf. You know, <laughs> and yeah, um, I like the uh, the red tag as well because it actually matches with an off white scarf as well. So it would be nice to cop these. Those will probably go for one hundred and twenty pounds, one thirty thereabouts, one thirty five, and they'll be sold from anything from four fifty, I'd say, upwards, upwards, really. I, I'm actually just like probably like just you know uh, being very safe with the prices, not trying to you know exaggerate a little bit. It's all just an educated guess. I'm using information from the past and how, you know, these shoes have sold in the past from StockX, Gold and other different platforms to give you guys an educated guess. So don't go by everything that I say as well. Do your own research as well. Yes, so these are called the University Yellow. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I still prefer the black and the vault. Those are my favorite. The blue, mm, it's all right. Then we're going to go to these ones over here. These are called the Off-White and Nike Dunk Law Futura. Wow, I like I like these. These are very, 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 very beautiful. They remind me of the UNC, obviously. Shout out to the University of uh, North Carolina, where MJ went to. They've got that colorway. It's blue and white with the orange long um, 
weird laces on the outside than the blue laces on the inside. I'll probably like make the laces, you know, white on the inside as well, on the inside section. Uh, what can I say? They're beautiful. I like the the heel, how they've done a spin on the heel. It's a very, it's a very uh, transparent, like, you know, material. I like that. I like that. That's quite different. These are going to probably resell for, I'll probably say that they would sell for like maybe say 90 to 100 pounds, 110 pounds at most. But they'll resell anything from 350 upwards, definitely. I mean, imagine this like in, in summertime. Well, not this summertime because obviously we're in lockdown. No one knows what's going to happen. But like, you know, for other parts of the world, like, you know, imagine like, you know, this in summertime. This is an absolute vibe. I love them. I love them. I love them. Yeah. Then we're going to go to the, uh, these are called the, uh, the orange. So they're still part of the Futura. How, how to pronounce it? Futura or Futura. <laughs> and these are quite different. They've got a bit of a graffiti effect or spray painting effect in the mid section there with the orange as well. Um, yeah, they're a nice colorway, but not one of my favorite, to be honest. Um, yeah, same price again um, to buy. But I think with these, they might resell quite lower. You know, it's to be seen if demand's going to be, you know, quite high for these. I think they'll definitely resell uh, lower than the previous ones that I've just shown. Um, am I really a fan of these? Um, do you know what? Not really. But will I buy them? Yes, I will. <laughs> That's the thing with a lot of resellers, yeah? I'll buy them and probably just keep them in my uh, in my collection for future. I don't know. Probably just put them on, like, when I'm chilling out. Um, you know, yeah. Ooh, now here we go. So these are called the University of Gold. So they're the same as ones that we saw before, but the only difference is the black hair. Now look how the black makes a difference, right? So I'm just going to scroll up to where we've seen the previous ones, right? Yeah, here they're just two yellow, right? And when we go down to here, that black just makes a difference. It makes it look even better. It just breaks the yellow, so it's not too mustardy. I call it mustard yellow. Um, these are gonna be, I think, slightly more pricier when it comes to resale, definitely because of the black as well. And the air as well, it's got air on the bottom and you can see it more boldly. Whereas, you know, the white on the yellow, it doesn't really, um, you know, emphasize the air. So yeah, I like this even more so than the other one. So I think the resale price will probably be slightly more. I don't know how much more, but probably slightly more than the first ones that we've seen. And then we come to the least favorite shoe. These are the, uh, the uh, they're called the Nike Court Flare 2PE. And um, these are for tennis, hence why they got Serena. So I think if you play tennis, you can probably like, wear these. I'm not sure about the sock material at the top there. It's just not really my forte. Um, yeah, let's just say it's not a nice shoe. <laughs> I think Virgil always has to make an ugly shoe, which is not desired. I think purely for those people that like, you know, just like off-white. I just want to buy everything off-white. You can probably just buy this, yeah. Um, it's probably comfortable, I'd imagine so. And yeah, I mean, I think Serena, you know, would have, well, I think she would have probably had more of an input, I think, on the shoe um, than just what was just been given. I think just having both Serena and Virgil attached to the shoe is not enough. The design itself has to also sell itself. Um, there's only so much uh, brand Vita can go in terms of selling the product to the market. So yeah, this shoe is an absolute crap shoe. It's an ugly shoe. I'm just going to be frank and honest as possible. And yes, guys, this is the end of my video. Just want to say thanks for watching. And guys, please, let's run this video. Let's try and get to over a thousand views. Keep sharing this as well. Much love. I appreciate you. Have a good evening. God bless you. See you soon. Peace out. We out. We out.